सो यू सी अभी ये वाला पोर्शन दिस माइट बी लुकिंग टू ब्राइट फॉर यू बिकॉज एज आई सेड दिस टाइम द बैकग्राउंड इज डूइंग द जॉब इज हेल्पिंग अस सी दिस पोर्शन मच लाइटर देन इट वॉज ऑलरेडी and i'll try to keep the tip of the snare is a much flat this time and i'm going to pick up some values from this portion a lot of portions from this drawing have been highlighted even brighter than it was before right but as i keep saying we don't want too bright of the areas to be visible हमें बहुत ज़्यादा लाइट एरियाज भी नहीं दिखाने हैं इट्स अबाउट वन फोर्टी फाइव इन दी आफ्टरनून सो एज आज वर्किंग विद द नीडेड एरेज आर आई जस्ट पिक आउट सम ऑफ द हाई लाइट्स ओके नाउ वट वी ट्राइंग टू डू इज बिल्ड दैट स्पेस इन बिटवीन द डार्क्स एंड लाइट्स ऑफ दिस पोर्ट्रेट यहाँ पे एट दिस पोर्शन आई हैव सम मोर हाईलाइट्स व्हिच वर मिस्ड अर्लियर ऑन तो यू सी आई एम एडिंग दिस हाईलाइट्स इज जस्ट काइंड ऑफ ब्रिंगिंग मोर अटेंशन टू दिस साइड एज कंपेयर टू दिस वन राइट बिकॉज़ हमने सिर्फ इस वाले पोर्शन में भी काम किया एंड यहां से आई विल यूज द नीडेड इरेजर वंस अगेन बट दिस टाइम आई एम जस्ट अप्लाइंग लेस प्रेशर एंड मैं वो पोर्सन यूज़ कर रहा हूँ नीडी रेजर का जहाँ पे ऑलरेडी चाकोल लगा हुआ है सो इट वोंट टेक दैट मच चाकोल आउट ऑफ द पेपर राइट सो आई हैव जस्ट एडेड सम हाइलाइट्स है एंड आई एम गोना सिंपली जस्ट प्लेन दिस पोर्शन सो दिस वर्क्स जस्ट फॉर द हाइलाइट्स Now I want to add more details, right? It's not just कि हमें सिर्फ light portions add करने थे. Want to add more texture to it, right? So for that, I'm gonna use a tool that we call as Tombow Mono Zero Eraser. I'm gonna start from the hairs, beard, and simply make some strokes right here. And I'm trying to keep an eye over the contrast which I have in reference. and the brightness of these strokes because it varies as i move along from the dark to light portions and i'm trying to variate jo pressure apply kar raha hu is eraser pe main usko bhi variation dene ki koshish kar raha hu taki ye sare strokes ek jaise na lage highlights same brightness ki na ho theek hai strokes to maine almost har jagah pe lagaya hai but the variation is like onto the pressure I'll just move from this point here and across this side. मैं once again वही चीज ध्यान में रख रहा हूँ कि वो pressure जो मैं इस पे maintain कर रहा हूँ that is varied across according to the you know darkness जो इन जगहों पे है because if I use it here, I try to apply less pressure and comparatively यहाँ से I will try to just increase that pressure in the center portion. because there's a lot of highlights from this portion
जैसे मैंने यहाँ पे भी स्ट्रोक्स ऐड किए बट एज एम मूविंग फ्रॉम दिस पोर्शन दिस टाइम में इतना प्रेशर अप्लाई नहीं कर रहा हूँ सो वंस अगेन यू कीप एन आई ऑन द रेफरेंस एंड ट्राई टू ऑब्जर्व कि हाईलाइट्स कहाँ पे कितने अमाउंट में है कितनी ब्राइटनेस है हाईलाइट्स की इंस्टेड ऑफ जस्ट गोइंग ब्लाइंडली फॉर लाइक मेकिंग एन हाईलाइट यू ऑब्जर्व दो पोर्शन एज वेल यहाँ पे वी हैव सम हाईलाइट नाउ यू कैन से आई हैव एडेड ब्राइट अ हाईलाइट इस पोर्शन में एस कंपेयर टू दिस वन्स एंड नाउ इट काइंड ऑफ मैचेस द होल पोर्शन एंड आई जस्ट ऐड सम मोर ब्राइट हाईलाइट्स फ्रॉम द सेक्शन Now I see from the reference. I'm keeping an eye over that. Okay. So, oh, some more strokes here. All right, looks perfect. All right. So I have completed. the highlights and once again you know i'm not just going to leave it i'm going to use my charcoal pencil again this is the soft one and i'm trying to apply more strokes over this jo purane strokes ko thoda overlap karenge and as i've added new highlights they'll be you know enhanced more see i'm keeping a constant gap and ye jo gap hai mere strokes ke beech mein let me just zoom in to make sure you are able to see this uh this gap i'm keeping in between the strokes is making sure jo purane highlights maine add kiye hai wo bhi clearly dikhe and as you are adding this texture you need to make sure there is not a equal amount of gap in between the hairs that's something that i see a lot तो उससे एक नेचुरल इफेक्ट इसमें खत्म हो जाता है सो यू नीड स्लाइट रैंडमनेस इनमें एज अ मूविंग फ्रॉम दिस प्लेस आई हैव अमाउंट ऑफ गैप्स इन बिटवीन हियर दैट्स यू नो हेल्पिंग मी टू ब्रिंग आउट दीज लाइट हाईलाइट्स इज वेल बिकॉज अदरवाइज अगर मैंने ऐसे ही रखा होता इनको तो दीज हाईलाइट्स वुडेंट हैव इन दिस मच विजिबल बिकॉज आई एम क्रिएटिंग अ कॉन्ट्रास्ट है विद द हेल्प ऑफ दीज स्ट्रोक्स दैट आई एम अप्लाइंग राइट नाउ नाउ लुक्स मच बेटर राइट एंड वी कैन एड सम मोर हेज फ्रॉम दिस सेक्शन दिस टाइम अगेन आई एम ट्राइंग टू Use less pressure on my pencil. <laughs> Now I've blended the shadows slightly, which is portion pay or if because I should once again match with the rest of these portions. and again i'm trying this method of the method over and over again jo maine abhi tak apply kiya tha just to, you know make sure values sahi tarike se place hue hain is time okay All right. So this part is done mostly. Okay. So we'll move to the lips portion because as I see from the reference, it's more tilted from what I have drawn. So yeah, but we need some adjustments. So we can corner को थोड़ा सा uplift कर सकते हैं and kind of increase the shadows in between because it doesn't look good. I say it's too straight. Need some more shadows to differentiate these two portions, 
and again um, as I'm creating the shadows I don't want any outlines instead okay so we need to justify the shadows by extending them downwards right So I've added the shadows first and after this I just a brush use to just add some smooth look right after this we can just use the same method with the help of the eraser and the brush You see now I have darkened this portion but upper other portion it's not matching with this now. Now we need to add some more contrast for the upper portion also. Alright. So I'm using the same pencil but observe how I'm using and handling the angle of my pencil. So once again, I'm using a brush, sorry, the needed eraser to kind of lift off some values because we don't need more dark. Alright, so what I can see actually, I just figured out what's wrong with this. Let me just use a pencil to point that out. If you see this portion, it uh, has to be actually somewhat around here. yeah like this you know slight adjustment and how huge of an improvement that could be in your drawings yes yeah, slight angles change karna and distances all right let me just adjust the lighting because i just figured out it's not looking that good now it looks much better because there was a lot of reflection actually so direct light say there was a lot of distraction now it looks much better so maybe you can see now and it must be visible now properly and also what i have observed once again i was taking a look at the reference i would want to you know extend these lines actually just slightly more So right here, I can add slight texture with the help of my HP pencil to kind of make sure that your donor portions, they mix up very well instead of this lips and the beard being two separate portions, right? All right, so I've kind of added the shade as you can see from these portions. Now it feels more attached to the whole portrait instead of it being separate. Um, I can just pick up some of these portions to make sure lips kind of you know, separate from the dark portions because now we shades add kiye the kuch pehle, but they seem to have taken over and you know kind of mix up with the lips also. Here we need to make certain that lips wala portion kaha tak hai, instead of the shades mixing up with that. Yeah, looks much better, right? And from the sides, also, also, I want to make it more softer on the edge with more control. For that, I can use a blending stone to soften out the corners. 
and maybe use this planning stamp also i can extend these shades from lower side making sure okay right now i'm using a blending stamp which has some of the charcoal or graphite from around the area but also it'll help me to make sure this that i don't cross the line as in i don't cross the contrast also i can i can use a medium charcoal pencil to kind of add the shadow which separates the lips okay this portion here and let's blend this also and if i observe from here from this side once again we need more shadows from this place yeah sir okay also there's slight rough texture in the drawing from this point and i'm using my medium charcoal pencil for that and some rough texture somewhere like this all right same thing from the other end so we have the beard from the sides also coming in closer as of what i have drawn and goes from here also once again you know you see these slight changes in your drawing and have a high impact actually and i can use a blending stamp because i've used it already in these areas and it has some charcoal over it i can simply use it over this area to kind of create some texture on the skin see kind of trying to replicate it from the reference because i don't have to use a pencil for this now so many yape i used slightly darker charcoal to kind of bring out this portion even more all right looks much better now okay so we can slightly add some more shadows on to this these portions okay right here like this Okay. but once again as i've added this dark portion you can see it still doesn't match with the rest of the portions so that's why you have to control the contrast of the overall areas which are following the portions you are creating darker or lighter so i need to make sure to rest of the portions is okay they align with all of this All right, so I've added more shadows here. Okay, so once again, that follows up the same process. But I thought before I move on, I want to add some texture to this side. Okay, I'm just gonna separate my hand so that I don't uh, rub over this to make separation of your own hand or And I'm gonna use a medium pencil and sharpen this first. So I'm gonna create some texture here quickly. Also some more contrast because once again um, these portions cannot be having same darkness or the contrast cannot be of the same darkness right so to, to make sure like they have a good amount of contrast in between I need to add more dark shades as well Okay, once again, I'm using this heated eraser to kind of you know, pick off these portions. Okay, 
right so this is about this portion and also i can use an electric eraser to bring out some more highlights for these portions क्योंकि मैं इतना लाइट तो नहीं जा सकता हूँ यूजुअली रेजर से सो यू कैन सी अब एडेड मोर हाईलाइट नाउ एंड आई जस्ट कैन ऑफ एड समोर हाईलाइट फ्रॉम हेयर सो वुड यू बिलीव आई हैड केप्ट द लाइक फोन एस एंड आई डिड नॉट रिकॉर्ड Uh, one of my old tricks, right? So what I did here is कि जो टेक्स्चर यहाँ पर क्रिएट हुआ था ना तो उससे एक गैप क्रिएट हो रहा था वो सर्टन गैप इन बिटवीन द टेक्स्चर एंड द बैकग्राउंड सो वट आई सिम्पली डेड इज आई टुक माई नीडेड रेजर एंड आई लिफ्टेड ऑफ सम ऑफ द पोर्शन सिम्पली you know to give much softer transition onto that dark portion, you know instead of feeling like ये दोनों अलग अलग planes में Now it feels कि ये सारा you know एक ही एक ही plane पे है right and now as this texture is developed उसके पहले there is a reason you know I can go this dark reason as in like a logical and you know visual explanation of why something is dark या ये क्यों इतना light है you know you're giving it that slight movement from dark to light instead of directly you know taking it from tone to tone without any explanation as in without any reasoning of those portions theek hai to filhal ke liye i've just added the texture and slight gaps i'm going to use medium pencil again to kind of darken some portions in between so now you can see like the texture is too dark of like uh, to be you know natural I'm softening it out, and also we need these portions to match the rest of it now. Now we're gonna move over the highlights, try to soften this, these portions as well, to make it feel all together part of one portrait, right? And from here also, I can just pick out some more highlights. Now it all feels like ki ek hi portrait ka part hai. I feel we can add some more dark tone to this side. Okay. So you can see the difference. I'm just simply try to divide these two. You see this side. Okay, let's just forget the forehead section. You can see this side and this side now. So it's more soft still. and this feels more like it's part of this portrait okay so more of humne ek side complete kar liya hai iska and in the next video i'm going to go ahead and draw this portion and also the forehead of this portrait hopefully so for now um we're done with this part and you understood some of the things that were causing the problems how we were shifting to quick and this might be happening in your drawing too try to take a look observe from these mistakes which i had done and now which i've corrected so i hope you guys learned from this video don't forget to drop a thumbs up and also comment on this video it helps to make sure the video reaches out to other people as well they also learn and repeat the process if they like the video so thank you so much once again and don't forget subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye